All right, so our second portion um, of today's notes um, deal with 3D figures um, or 3D shapes and how we go about naming them. And so we're going to talk about um, polyhedrons today. Um, and a polyhedron is um, a shape, a shape um, that is made up of flat sides. All right, and so polyhedron, um, if we look down here at this image, we have our polyhedrons. And we have not polyhedrons, right? And so this key thing is this flat sides. Um, and so if you look at the left ones, our polyhedrons, right? We've got all flat sides. Um, whether they're angled or slanted, that's um, still a flat side, right? So if you take a piece of paper and you set it on the table, it's flat. Um, if you hold it up and down, it's still flat. Um, but then once you get to um, things that aren't polyhedrons, right? If you start bending that paper or letting it um, fold over, then you get what's called not a polyhedron, right? And you've got things like spheres, cylinders, and cones, because let's say a cylinder, right, it wraps around that circle, right? So it's not flat. If you were to try to walk around a cylinder, it wouldn't work too well because you would fall off of it. Um, okay, so there are three main um, key parts when we are talking about um, polyhedrons. And so those three parts, first we have our face. And so, um, our face are each of the sides. So if we look down here, let's change this color so we can see it a little better. If we see down here, this is a face, that's a face, that's a face. So it's each one of these um, like sides. So if you're thinking about like a box, right? You get a package in the mail. Um, the box is made up of a bunch of different sides, um, which makes it three dimensional. And so those are called our faces. Next, we have our edges, right? And our edges are where um, our sides meet. And so if we look down here, here's an edge, here's an edge, here's an edge, All right? So all of those are each of our edges where our faces meet. Um, lastly, we have what are called our vertexes, our vertices. Um, and our vertex or vertice um, is where multiple edges meet, right? So here's a vertice, right? Edge, edge, edge. They all meet at that point. Um, over here, looking at our pyramid, notice um, that we have lots of vertices or lots of edges that meet at that one top vertice. Um, okay, so now we've got to be able to determine or decipher between a prism and a pyramid. So um, the main difference here is that, I mean, they look different. There's one, um, but on a prism, the top and bottom are the same shape. Right, so that was a bad outline, but notice the top and bottom are both the same square shape where um, a pyramid, no matter how, uh, no matter what you call the top and bottom, they're not going to be the same shape, right? And they're not going to be parallel. So we're thinking about those two things. We're thinking about same shape um, and those two things being parallel, right? These two top and bottom, you think in a box, the top of the box and the bottom of the box are parallel, um, but nowhere on here are you going to see um, on a pyramid, are you going to see two of the same faces being parallel and also being the same shape? Um, I mean, for the most part, you should be able to recognize that in a pyramid, you also get uh, most of your sides coming to a um, connection right there at the tip of the pyramid or that vertex. Okay, so um, once we've decided whether it's a polyhedron or um, not a polyhedron, um, we can go down and figure out how we name. So our biggest thing here is that we want to name by the shape of the base. Terrible underlining. We want to name by the shape of the base. Whether we, First we want to decide if it's a prism or a pyramid, then we want to name by the um, shape of the base. So if we look down here um, at this one, right? If this is our base, what is that? It's a rectangle or a square, right? Um, I would only call it a square if you're for sure. But so a rectangle, right? So we would say it's a rectangular prism. Um, then if we look here, we have, let's, okay, let's say that is a square, right? Then we would say we have a square pyramid. Um, if we wanted to call it a rectangle, we could call it a rectangular pyramid. So you gotta make sure you're thinking about what the um, shape of the base is. So if we go down here to these two, tell whether each is a polyhedron um, or not, 
And then if it is, name the polyhedron. Um, and so as specific as possible means we should choose pyramid or prism, but then we should also name the base, right? So as specific means name by shape of the base, then whether it's either a prism or a pyramid. All right, so looking at this first one, um, A, is it a um, polyhedron? Are all the sides flat? Yes, right? So yes, it is a polyhedron. And let's name it. Um, so uh, this is can kind of be taken either way, um, but just the way it's laying, right? We've got this as a base, and we've got that as a base. Um, and so since we have two bases, we know it's a prism. And our bases are rectangles, so we would say it's a rectangular prism. Okay, let's look at the second one. So second one, hopefully you see, okay, that looks like a pyramid. Um, and it is a pyramid. And so that means, yes, it is a polyhedron. And so now we gotta name it. It's gonna be something pyramid. Um, and so again, we're naming by the base. So right, our base is this bottom portion. And so we've gotta figure out what that's called. Well, we name by the number of sides, just like a rectangle. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and if you think back, um, this might be a good um, tool to use your Google for. Um, so if you think back and you say, let's say you don't remember what a six-sided um, figure is. So a six-sided shape. What's it called? Oh, Google says it's a hexagon. Okay, it's a hexagonal pyramid. Right, so if you're like, this is just a skill for life. Um, if you learn nothing other in geometry class other than, hey, if I don't know something, let me try to Google it. Um, I mean, that's quite a big skill. And so let's come back to these. And our last one, is it a polyhedron is our first question. And um, hopefully you say no, just based on the fact that those are two of the same shapes. But say you didn't have this picture sitting right in front of you. Um, this base is flat, right? It's a cone, flat. Um, however, this that wraps around our circle to make that cone is not flat. So we say not poly. Check. 